What up, YouTube family? It's your girl, Fred Nicole, and of course, the diva is back there in the back. We're actually on our way to the doctor's office for an appointment for Prince K. Yes, um, we've, we're at the 32 week mark, so now we have to go to the doctor every two weeks as opposed to every four. And then, you know, soon it'll be every week, which is going to be a hindrance on my job but hey it is what it is um so i think i'm just gonna come in and let you guys see how it goes when we go to the doctor we've been acting a fool this morning singing some stuff and my baby said ain't nobody got a moment like hers hey i can get behind that but yeah like i said i'll just come we'll do like an actual pregnancy vlog this is us going to the doctor so right now i'm leaving my hometown where i live I'm going to go over to the next county over where the doctor is. Um, actually, not seeing the doctor that's going to deliver the baby today. I'm actually going to see the nurse practitioner, the lady who I see um, normally on my, for my lady parts. <laughs> uh, simply because I wanted to get an appointment during my break. Wrong five break. I wanted to get an appointment during my break. And the doctor that's going to deliver the baby did not have any opening, so I just said, "Well, we can see the nurse practitioner because it's not anything major that we're that we're doing today. Just measurement, make sure the baby's okay, listen to the heartbeat, and hopefully schedule the actual C-section." So we didn't need to actually see the doctor today. We'll see him in two weeks. So again, I will come back once we get there, so you can see the setup, what we do when we get there, and all the other good stuff. Okay, so yeah, we'll be back. Drop it, 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 Get the child support and pay my rent. Pay my rent. Your opinion is irrelevant. Irrelevant, cause I'm a baby mama. I can do just what I want. Turn up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are stuck in traffic. I had to call and reschedule my appointment while we were stuck in traffic. We're still stuck in traffic. Praying to God that traffic will be cleared up by the time my new appointment is. New appointment now is at 2:40. It is now 1:40. So we got an hour. Like when I said we're stuck, stuck like. We ain't moving, y'all. We ain't moving. Now, I've been stuck in traffic before, but at least we were able to, like, move a little bit. But we are not moving at all. I didn't bring no snacks because I plan on going to Chick-fil-A. Like, what we going to do, player? What are we going to do? I don't know. We can turn around. We can't turn around. We're on the interstate. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. We are like stuck, stuck. Stuck, stuck. So, like, y'all. We don't want this. So, now we gotta listen to songs. So, let's see what we'll listen to next. What we'll listen to next? Y'all ever heard this one? You and me, with all these times, literally every single day and night. Even when you stop acting like a fool, you know I'll never, never sing a thing you do. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm assuming we're getting close to where the fight was actually at. Um, hopefully I can see, because I want to know what's going on, but the police has directed traffic all into one lane. Yeah, that's why I got the camera kind of down. Yeah, he's gone, but hopefully we get to see what's going on, and, um, yeah. Hey, so if you don't follow me on, on social media, because I really don't post shit on social media for real, but when you're stuck in traffic... When you're stuck in traffic, you do things that you normally don't do. So, yeah. Check out my social media. I'm going to link all those things down below. Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. They're all Coretta Nicole, just in case you didn't know. But just, you know. Can't find me. I'll link all that down below in a minute, okay? Um, Not in a minute. Well, 
when you watch this video, all that will be linked down below and you can check me out. So, the traffic is still kind of slow, but we are actually moving. You can see where they moved all traffic to one side. Um, it looks like it's going to stop again. I don't know what's going on. There's another police officer up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. What happens if I zoom, you guys? Okay. So, you can see where they moved all the traffic to one side. And there's another police officer up there. So, yeah. I will come back and let you guys know what happened. Or I try to stay on. I don't want to bore you guys. So, yeah. So I don't want to kind of just hold the camera. But I guess I can... I always make this part fast, right, huh? Y'all remember Maya back in the day when we was younger? Hey. <laughs> I need a little snippet. I, mean, I got to put a little bit on here. But when we was younger, we used to sweat. We was feeling all them emotions. All the emotions. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Baby, hell no. That's not the way it goes. You about me. Oh, they're going to the police officer. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so right now there's an oversized trailer. Looks like whatever was pulling the trailer caught on fire. OMG. I pray that whoever was driving that is safe, you guys. Like, oh my God. Like that entire truck that was pulling that oversized um, trailer is disintegrating. Did y'all not see that? Oh my God. I pray to God, whoever that was, is safe. So, oh my God, that was insane. I didn't think I was going to see that. I didn't think it was going to be like, like I saw the smoke. I saw the smoke way back when I first got on the interstate and it was black smoke and I knew whatever it was, was really, really bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. So I prayed to God, whoever was driving that tractor trailer got out before it was too late. Um, cause that is bad. Oh my gosh. Like I feel sad almost. So I do hope that whoever was driving that did get out in time and no one else was hurt in the process. And it looks like the police did a very good job of clearing the area and getting us all safe into our destinations. So, whew, Jesus. Y'all, the world is getting real crazy. And we got to get right with the Lord real fast and real quick. Let's do it. So, yeah, we're on our way now. We had to reschedule the appointment. The appointment was at 1. We were stuck in traffic for literally an hour. So, I had to call and reschedule. The appointment is rescheduled to 2.40, so we do have time to get there. Um, we're going to go straight to the doctor's office. Hopefully, they can see us early or see us as she can get us back early because I would hate to go and go do something else and then be late again because I do want to go and find me something to wear appropriate for the game on Saturday. Oh, it's our homecoming week. Um, the school that I graduated, the college that I graduated from, it's our homecoming week. Um, I went to an HBCU at the Tuskegee University. If you didn't know, so T, you, you know. So it is our homecoming week. Um, I hate that I cannot participate in all of the festivities that are available for me this week, but I will be at the parade or in the parade or whatever the case may be because you guys know that I am the cheer coordinator or the cheer advisor, cheer coach, whatever y'all want to call me for the school that I work at. Um, my son is going to be in the parade representing the school. I need to get off my let's see. Um, huh? It's two what? Two oh five. Yeah, I see it. So my son is in the parade representing the school as first gentleman to um, Mr. Tuskegee Public. My daughter will probably walk with my mom and her dancing girls and then my cheerleaders are in the parade. However, I can't make that walk. That walk is entirely too long. It's basically the whole entire city. And I can't do that. Not at 32 weeks pregnant. Oh, no. No, no, no. Um, and then after that, we're going to attempt to go to the game. Most times we go on the yard afterwards. Oh, I'm going on the yard on Friday. 
to try to do what we normally do go out mingle talk to people that we haven't seen in forever spend money on shirts that we're gonna wear one time <laughs> yeah but it's just you know that's that hbcu life for you um yeah so that's what's going on this weekend so i need to go find me an appropriate outfit that's gonna make me look presentable but not like a little hoodlum my mom gave me an idea so if you um if you guys watch if you guys do follow my social media i posted a picture of me in this romper this floral romper and mom was like oh you should say that for homecoming it's really really cute and would, you know it would go with the idea that i have as far as my outfit is concerned so if you don't remember that picture maybe i'll put it up here right here um so i'm trying to go find something similar to that to recreate that look almost where i can be presentable for my parents and still have fun as an as an alumni of alumni of tuskegee university alumnus alumnus what's, what's the proper word but anyway so yeah we're on our way to the doctor's office now we are in what we call opelika alabama the doctor's office is only about 10 minutes away now so we finally got through that traffic, and I just, like I said, I pray that whoever that was is safe. Are you ready to get out of this car? Yes. We've been sitting in the car for an hour, and it's kind of, yeah. Sitting in the car for an hour, just sitting there, and not traveling. I my, I my uh, I know, we should have had some snacks, but we'll be all right. And we'll come back in a minute. Yeah. Come on. Um, all right, so since we are a little early, a little earlier than we thought we would be, but thank God that we are early. And we are in one piece. We're going to go into the CVS. Let's see if I can. No, we'll find it. So I am I am looking for something else for my eyebrows. The pencil that I've been using on my eyebrows. No, they ain't done. They, they look a hot mess. So refer back to other videos so you can see what they look like. Well, I want to hold the camera. You want to hold the camera? Here. No. Hey guys, so we're outside the doctor's office right now. We went to CVS. I ended up just picking up. Um, let me see that thing that I picked up. I picked up this LA Girl Brow Pomade in the color dark brown. So I ended up just picking this up. Um, I had a pencil, but I got plenty of pencils. They're just not doing it for me anymore. So I picked this up. Hopefully. This does the trick. It does what I'm looking for to do, or whatever the case may be. I I haven't tried a pomade in a while, but since I've been watching So So Chanel, if you're not watching So So Chanel on Facebook, you need to really watch her on Facebook because some days she goes in. Um, and then I got some eyebrow gel into that eyebrow gel that I bought, and of course, baby girl got something to drink, so I'm about to drink some of it. But we're actually parked outside the doctor's office now. We're getting ready to go in. As soon as I get a sip of her drink. So I actually picked this up too. Yeah, I yeah. love this. I never used the mascara side. The lash side. Um, I tried to use the lash side one time on my eyebrows. And it was a hot freaking mess you guys. When I say a hot mess. It was a hot mess. So. Oh baby girl. That's so good. But yeah. I put it on my eyebrows one time. And it was so hard. It was so hard to come off. They didn't even, it just didn't even act right. So I get this and I actually only use the brow style, but the Elf brand is bomb.com. So we're at the doctor's office, we're going to go in. I was going to print out a picture, one of my maternity shoot pictures, to put in the house, but their print, their picture machines were down. So I'll try back in my hometown when we get there. And yeah, we're going to go in, as you guys can see. University, these are actually my work keys. That picture used to be awesome, but it looks hot based on so we're about to go in. You ready? Yeah. All right, so this is the box office. Let's see. We're gonna go in and get checked in. I already registered online. I hope I didn't have to register again since I had to change the appointment time. Need to get pressed again. <laughs> Make sure it's locked. I'm gonna beat her. 
Anyway, so let's go see if we can get checked in and then I'll come back. Okay, so we just finished the appointment, like literally didn't even take 15 minutes. I literally drive longer to get to the doctor than it takes to actually see the doctor. And then the bad part about seeing the doctor is trying to schedule the appointment for the next time without taking too much time from work. So hold on, guys, I'll put you on my lap for a minute. I need to really find some type of dock for the car. Let me call it the camera. I got it. I need to really find some type of dock for the camera. You not you can't hold it and then record the back of my head, baby girl. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm sitting there trying to figure out how in the work and I come back to the doctor in two weeks without taking too much time from work. That's impossible. It's hard. It's really, really hard. But hopefully I can get here and then get back to these students before they're back from PE on the next time I call them. And then two more weeks and two more weeks. And then we're almost there. When we'll I go back again, we'll be 34 weeks. Oh, my goodness. Like, you guys, we are literally almost there. And I'm super, super excited. <laughs> yeah. You like a mom. She like to be the mom, but I ain't. I'm trying to see the other. Alright, well, anyway, we're getting ready to go to Ross really quickly. So you guys I'm looking for an outfit, but of course you know we're gonna look at baby stuff. You might have Don't kill me. Don't like talk about me because yes, I want like to look at baby stuff. Like so we'll come back to you when we get to Ross. I'll maybe let baby girl be the photographer or the camera lady, let her hold the camera and do all the um, shots for me while I look through the clothes. And then I am going to Chick-fil-A because I cannot come to Auburn or to Ogallica or to any city that has a Chick Fil A without getting Chick Fil A. Like, who who can? Like, uh, yeah. So we'll be back. Okay, we're at the wall. Show the sign. Was I ready? Should be. Let me see if it's recording. Yes, it is. All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, you guys. We are at Ross. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. I'm trying. We at Ross right now, about to pick up something for my mom to wear to the game. Yeah. No. But you guys, I want to I want to show y'all this really cool thing. Oh, what is this? Look at this thing.
All right, we went to Ross. I didn't find anything for me to wear, but I did find part of this baby shower gift that I'm trying to put together. Hopefully, it goes... I'm not going to say appreciate it, but hopefully they get the point of what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if that person watches my videos, and I don't know if I'm going to produce this video before the baby shower, so I'm not going to talk about it. But it's going to be two bags. It's going to be a mom and then a baby bag, where I think it's going to be really super, super, super cute. So we're going to actually go and try to go into Route 21 to see if I can find something in here to wear. I'm going to let baby girl handle the camera again, and we'll see how that goes. Didn't find anything in here. Looks like we're gonna have to resort to wearing all black. But if I do the black, wish I had like a mustard color shawl. Oh, I could have did that. I could have found. We're gonna go back and we're gonna see if we're gonna pick out a mustard color shawl. Let's go with my black one see if that works out we'll be back okay guys so i decided to just switch up the whole idea of what i would well not necessarily switch up the whole idea just wear what i one of the rumpers that i already have at home so i'm gonna do a black rumper and then a camouflage sweater hold this hold the sweater up or just give me the bag let's put y'all right so and just with this 
camouflage um, cardigan over the black romper. And like I said, it's going to look like the floral romper that I had on. And wear that. And then um, some black flats. Then I have this black hat that I want to wear. And I'm going to carry my red backpack. My red now is backpack. Watch that unboxing video if you haven't seen it. So that's what I plan on wearing Saturday to the game. So now we're on our way to Chick-fil-A to get some food. I am starving. Baby girl got her necklace. Uh, she's, yeah. So, yeah, we'll come back later and talk to you guys. Bye. All right, so baby girl and I are at home. We're going to get ready to film uh, a box opening for Newbie. And then, well, we're going to... Drop the camera front today, and then we're going to film the video, and then we'll put it together, and then we'll talk to y'all later. Bye!